Hey comic creators. So I just wanted to do a quick video showing you guys uh, tools that you can use to grow your channel. And the first tool that I want to show you, I'm going to show you two. Uh, but the first one that you want to use that is probably the most important tool and the, the most powerful tool <laughs> to grow your channel is your channel dashboard that YouTube gives you. Uh, it's absolutely free because you, you know, if you have a channel, you have the dashboard. But the thing is, is that I've talked to a lot of my friends and a lot of people online that I see are just ignoring the information that you can get from this dashboard. And if you start paying attention to this, you can honestly grow your channel a lot faster a lot quicker if you're noticing and picking up on the cues that YouTube is trying to share with you. So if I go to my videos here, I can go ahead and actually let's start with uh, one of my top performing videos. So I'm going to scroll down and kind of select uh, one of my top performing videos here uh, that's doing really well and has been doing really well. And I'm going to go in there and check out the um, analytics of the video. So this is your analytics dashboard. The first page is just an overview. You can see I got 110 subscribers from this, which is most of my subscriber base right now. This video is doing really well um, as far as uh, getting uh, attention. But if I click on the uh, reach tab up here uh, in this top tab uh, section here, uh, you click reach, that will open up uh, really some the most important graph or the biggest graph that I use. So you have your different aspects of, of uh, who this is reaching, how it's reaching it, but the big graph here is impressions on how they led to watch time. This graph can tell you a lot about how your channel is performing. A lot. And it's probably the most important graph here. There's a lot of other tools here that are great and I use a lot, but this is probably one of the biggest because as you can see here, when someone uploads a video, their, their first thoughts are probably, man, my video is not performing very well. It's not doing good at all. What is going on? I'm not getting any views and it gets very frustrating. Well, if you go in here, normally it takes about a week to get accurate information. Uh, but if you go in here, um, you will see that uh, from here, you'll see this word called impressions. And what impressions is, is the amount of people that have been shown your video, whether that's through search, their homepage, suggested videos. That's what that all means is people that have seen your video. And what is below it is your click through rate. So that's uh, basically your percentage right here. It says eight, eight uh, percent click through rate. Um, that means that eight, about eight percent of the, of the 300,000 people that have seen this video have clicked through, which leads to 24,000 views. So what's happening? How can you use this information for you? So if you see that your video is getting views, which you're not going to get 300,000 right away, you're probably going to get like, you know, 24, 50, 100, and you see a really low click through rate, like 1% or lower. What that means is what that translates into is something's wrong with your title and your thumbnail. Either your, your title isn't catchy, it's not drawn in people, uh, making them interested in clicking on the video, and or your thumbnail is not eye-catching, it's not popping, it's not causing them to want to click the video. Now that's a hard truth to deal with because most new creators that I see on the platform commenting on other videos and other YouTube gurus videos is the algorithm is only supporting celebrities and big, and big players and big people on the platform and it's not true at all. YouTube is very aware that they need to continue promoting smaller channels and keep having channels grow in order to remain successful. So what this impressions uh, graph will show you is that, bro, it's not that YouTube isn't showing your videos to people. It's that you're not creating catchy enough uh, click throughs and so are uh, catchy enough thumbnails and titles. So your click through rate varies, especially on industry. Like um, I've, I've heard most People say like your good click through rate is between 2% to 10%. Um, I've got videos that have like a 20% click through rate and that's very rare, not all of them. It's probably only one or two. And then uh, this one is performing really well. It's got 8% click through rate. Um, I've got a couple of them that are in the two percentile range. And then I have some really poor performing ones that are in like, you know, the 1% or less. And I'll show you like one of my most poorest performing videos so I can give you an example here. But, but that click through rate is pretty decent and it's obviously catching attention um, and I'm, I'm happy with it so I'm not going to mess with it right now but typically if I need to change my thumbnail or my title I'll make a change and then I wait about a week to see uh, if that's making any difference because that's really how you're going to get the best information most people suggest you wait a few days a week you know to kind of see how your changes are taking place. But this is a hard grind. It's a hard thing to figure out. It's a hard thing to figure out what causes people to click. 
the channels that you see grow and explode right away, it's like boom and they start blowing up. It's not because of the algorithm. It's because people are sharing and watching the content. It's gone viral. Uh, if you're relying on the algorithm, it's a slow grind. You're going to have to work on your titles, work on your thumbnails, work on your tags, and allow the algorithm to do its thing and see how successful you are by looking at the click-through rate um, and all these different things like your view time. So maybe your video is not getting as much views as you like and it's not performing, but then you come here and you see, wow, my impressions are really high, my click-through rate is really good, so the views from it are good, but what's going on? Well, this view duration uh, could be the answer. So my average view duration is about two minutes here. Um, so this is kind of my standard or my gauge to see, okay, how is this performing? Because YouTube is promoting this video. It's doing really well. So that's kind of the standard. Now, be aware, one person clicking on your video and clicking away really fast can ruin your view, your average view duration. It's really frustrating to know that. And I've tested it and seen that it works that way. But if you click on engagement, uh, you can see here how the attention span and where people are clicking away or clicking off of your video are happening. So you can kind of watch and see, well, if my view duration is really low or if it's, if it's not, uh, if a lot of people aren't staying on board, um, I can see where that's happening and see what happens in the video here by clicking play and I can try not to do that again. Now what you'll notice here is right off the bat in my video, I have a huge click click off rate. And I know what that was. I created this video a while ago. I spent about the first mis minute talking about useless crap that has nothing to do with the topic of the video. That's why those people are clicking away. That's a hard truth to realize. It's like, hey, people don't like the sound of my voice. People don't care about what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to being off topic. And so I know going into it now, I don't waste any more time in the first part of my video talking about things that nobody cares about. I try to get straight into the content and straight into it. So that's that's what's affecting the average view duration. So you can kind of see if you use that graph appropriately, you'll get the information that you need to figure out how to grow your channel. That alone, you'll see a huge bump in viewership and, and subscribers if you start paying attention to those things and utilizing the tools in here. There's a lot of other tools in here that you need to understand how to use, but that's the two big things that I wanted to show you guys in that. So now let's look at one of my poor performing videos. All right, so here's a video that I am just struggling with right now that I can't uh, figure out what I'm doing wrong here. So I've already changed the title and the thumbnail uh, once, and it's still not really doing what I needed to do. So you look at my impressions. So I see that my view count's low, and I'm like, what is going on? But we'll look at the impressions. I actually see that a thousand people have seen this video that they've showed this to a thousand people and I only have a 0.7% click-through rate. It's horrible, absolutely horrible. 11 views, only 11 people have watched from a thousand from a thousand impressions. So I can see here what's the immediate thing. My title and my thumbnail is not doing the job that I needed to do. I've already changed it once. I'm in the process of waiting to see uh, over the next couple days if this has a bump or anything changes, but that's clearly what this is, is the title and thumbnail we're not doing what I needed it to do. And then I can look down here and see, oh man, look at this. I've only got a minute and 14 second average view duration. So if the view duration is really low, um, then you can kind of say, okay, look at the engagement report and see like, are people dropping off? And does it seem like people are dropping off? If sometimes if it doesn't seem that way, it could very well be that, you know, you have, um, you know, maybe like the wrong title and the wrong thumbnail. Maybe this is, you know, kind of like you're advertising something that's not really happening in the video and that's why people are clicking away. Um, or it could be that, you know, there's parts of the video where I lose people's attention span because I start talking about things that are not related or it's not delivering uh, content on the level of maybe some of the other competitors on the platform when you search a topic like this or delivering. So those are two very big things that could be causing the, the average view duration to be so low. And as you can see here, you watch as the view duration just kind of drops uh, in the beginning there. And you kind of see by the time I am getting to this part, for some reason, it just drops and disappears. So there's something there that I've got to pay attention to and continue to work on as I'm presenting my content, my videos. All right. So that is the uh, YouTube dashboard there that gives you a quick overview of that and how you can utilize that to grow your channel. Now I'm going to show you guys TubeBuddy because TubeBuddy is something that I've been using for years and I swear by this, uh, this tool. So this does have a free version. Uh, you don't really get a lot of what you need to really grow your channel out of it. The uh, paid version, if you have under a thousand subscribers, it's $4.50 a month right now. Really good deal. I do have an affiliate link in the description below 
where if you click that link, I get a little kickback if you sign up for it. Um, I have that there because I believe in the product and I use it myself. So I was like, you know, I need to try and send more people to this and make a little money at the same time. But um, if you have over a thousand subscribers, the pro uh, level is about, I think it's $9 a month. Um, so this first thing I'm going to show you here is the Launchpad dashboard. The Launchpad dashboard can review the content that you're posting and make suggestions on how to get better search, how to pop up in the search more and get more views to it. So if I type in the title because I've linked the channel together, um, I can see the video that's performing very poor right now and I can actually uh, click run um, a uh, best practice review click start or processing and so now it's going to process the video and kind of go through and and kind of pick up on certain things that can help me uh, better rank and search um, obviously the other dashboard the reason why that other dashboard is important is because you can kind of see like why people aren't clicking on the video this is more or less why you're not ranking in search that's kind of how this plays out here the other thing that's on the pro version that's really good is the health report so you can kind of see an overview of how your channel is performing, the likes, the dislikes, the shares, the type of traffic sources you're getting, uh, websites and searches and things like that. Um, I think, you know, what kind of devices are watching, all those kinds of different things that you can see, uh, how your channel is performing and, and who it's reaching um, and all that kind of stuff. So really, uh, really good. Uh, you can get some of this information on the dashboard, but this is just like an easier way to uh, see uh, that kind of information as far as like where your your traffic's actually coming from. One of the other things that comes with TubeBuddy that's really helpful is when you're uploading a video like here, you have the keyword explorer. Um, that is a really helpful tool that allows you to gauge the success um, and how good of keywords you're using for your video. So if I utilize this uh, keyword explorer or tag tool explorer here, um, what it does is it shows me a graph on what I can look up um, and if I type in a keyword, it'll show me like the performance, like based on competition, uh, based on uh, search volume. And then it e could even show you like weighted statistics to kind of see how well your, your channel would perform against other competitors in the channel. I've seen a lot of gurus uh, say that they don't really pay attention to keywords anymore. I still think keywords are great. I still think they help you to uh, identify your audience and they help the algorithm to kind of push your video into the correct eye eyeballs. Uh, right away. I still think that YouTube uses keywords the same as they did before. I just think that the AI is getting smarter, so it has better ways of, of properly figuring out the right audience for you. I don't think keywords is something you should just take lightly and not pay attention to. I still think it's something that you should pay attention to in your SEO, because that's not even to mention like Google searches and all these other searches on just general search um, search bars and things like that. If you're trying to pop up and search, like if they're searching on how to do something now, Google pulls up YouTube videos when you search for stuff as well as websites and pages. So it just makes a lot of sense to not just take keywords lightly. Like there's, there's still a place for keywords and you shouldn't ignore it, especially if you're trying to, to grow your channel. And the keyword explorer is something that I've just use religiously with TubeBuddy and it's worked for me every time over the past couple of years. It hasn't changed at all. Still helps me to get ranks, still helps me to get views. So uh, definitely, definitely use that if you're going to utilize this tool. Okay. The last thing I want to show you guys is this uh, answerthepublic.com and it's got this really weird looking guy's face on here. It changes every now and then and he kind of just stares at you and then talks to you. It's really bizarre, right? Yep, exactly. Shaking his head. <laughs> it's weird. But basically what this is, is you uh, utilize this tool to research topics. Um, yeah, see, yeah. Uh, research topics that will um, uh, help you kind of come up with ideas for video and content for your channel. This is a powerful tool. I've used it for years for both website planning and, and video planning and all sorts of different things. But you just kind of type in your topic. So I'll just type in like YouTube channel uh, right here. Uh, and then you can type in the region you want to search. You can only use this a few times a day, so make sure you get this right without paying for it. You can use it. You can use it more if you pay for it. So I don't want to do United Kingdom. I want to do United States because uh, that's where I'm located. And then you just click search, and so it's going to pull up all these related topics that people are searching for across the internet in relation to YouTube channel. So it's processing, and then when it first comes up, it kind of has this web where you can kind of see the topics. But if you go over here to the left side at the top here, you can click data and then it'll give you a, a kind of a breakdown list of the data. So 
now you have uh, all these various topics you know how youtube channels make money you can kind of see like okay so people are searching basically how the youtube how youtubers make money things like that so it gives you this idea for a general topic this is not a keyword explorer this is a topic explorer so now you have an idea okay as far as a topic goes what's a topic that i can talk about or start creating or crafting content around um, and then after that you would go over to your keyword explorer and you would start uh, searching for uh, keywords related to that topic. So let's say I was, let's say I did like the why is my YouTube channel not growing one. So I try to, that's a general one that I saw on there. And I search that and I see, okay, the search volume's fair, but you know, there's a lot of competition to it. Um, but what if I kind of narrowed it down? I was like, why is my channel not growing? So now not YouTube channel, but channel. Boom, there you go. Now I have a really good topic with high search volume, competition's really low. And then I could click on, um, uh, the weighted statistic and see how it does weighted against my other channels and boom now i am ranking up excellent so if you're needing help looking up topics and you're wondering well what kind of content should i gear or create this will help you do that and you on you can download the csv file on it so now you have your search and you can click and uh, have like your own um, spreadsheet uh, whether you're on a, a Windows or Mac, and you can utilize the spreadsheet to continue researching the, the topics and, and have that permanently so you don't have to keep searching that every time because you do have limited amounts of searches per day. So it just gets frustrating if you close it out and then you got to do this all over again. All right, guys. Well, I said I was going to show you two, but I wound up showing you an extra bonus one, which is three there. And you can kind of see all the stuff laid out there. I hope this this uh, stuff helps you. I hope it shows you how you can grow your YouTube channel. Um, and the proper things you should be paying attention to to grow your channel. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment down below. I can talk with you a little bit more in the comment section down below. Uh, please, if this video helped you, like, share, and subscribe. It helps with the algorithm. And yeah, I will uh, continue making content like this, and I will talk to you guys later.